Mike Mate did a Ghosts and Goblins arcade playthrough. Um, I think it's been last year or something, but he played through the Ghosts and Goblins arcade that came out. It's a retro game. Um, and this is this video is a little late. I just it's a, it's something I go back and watch because it's very entertaining. So I just want to talk about it because um, it's very unique. Um, well, Mike has a re uh, reputation for playing long. Um, his dedication when streaming, um, he he plays very long playthroughs of games on stream, and I know a lot of gamers do that, but. Um, Mike, when he played the Ghosts and Goblins, was, um, extremely dedicated. I still watch it because it's very entertaining. Um, Mike's commentary is hilarious. And, um, it, it's crazy because this game, the last level is so incredibly hard that he plays it for, um, hours. Like, the stream, the whole stream, I think, is... When he uploaded it to YouTube, the first part is four hours and something. The second part is seven hours. And the last part's like another three or four hours. So, you know, 15, 16 hours total. Um, he streamed it on Twitch and then he uh, uploads he uploads his streams to YouTube. But, you know, you're talking like probably 10 hours or so just on this last level. And that's serious dedication because um, I've never seen anyone spend that much time just on one level that they, you know, when he's playing it, it's so problematic because it's such a hard um, game at the end. Like the, the most of the game is pretty okay in terms of difficulty but then it, it's like ninja gaiden where it ramps up at the end and gets super hard um the last level is very random um it's got the rng stuff where it's just super random um he talks a lot in the stream about how there's no strategy that you can really use to beat the two devils at the end because they're so random and they move like in crazy it's different every time basically so a lot of games have a strategy um you know but when it's really random like that there it's hard to have like a strategy but the reason that um i like the stream so much is it's one of my favorite ones of his because um like I said, it's so uh, incredibly um, just the length of time that he spends dedicated to this last level is very like impressive. And um, it, it is one of his more popular videos, I'm pretty sure, because uh, he's just he's just really entertaining to watch. Um, and that level really takes a toll on him mentally, and you can see it um, in the video. But um, as it would me, like I, I don't have that much dedication to spend hours and hours and hours on one single level. Um, I think he does it in two sittings, though. Like I think he streams one sitting, and then he comes back and does another one. But altogether, it's like. I think not even far from like 20 hours total or something, but um, anyways, um, he does a lot of streams that are really long, um, a lot of dedication for Mike when it comes to gaming. Um, I especially enjoy him because he does retro games and that's what I'm into mostly. Um, but it's just crazy how dedicated he is. He, he'll he spend hours. And, like some of his streams are just crazy long, you know. But um, anyway, 
If you're a fan of mics, check out the Ghosts and Goblins arcade stream if you haven't. It's on YouTube. Um, please like and comment. Thanks, guys.